Hello everyone! This is the recap of version 2.5 livestream. First, as expected, Yaimiko will come on the upcoming patch which will be on 16 February 2022. She will be in the first half of the banner and reward to be accompanied by Diona, Toma, and Fischl. As for the second half, it will be Raiden Shogun and Kokomi. As for the weapon, Yaimiko's signature catalyst weapon, the Kagura Sperity, will be available at the same time with Yaimiko character banner. It is speculated that the other weapon on the banner will be Primordial Jade Cutter. There also will be a new 4-star catalyst called Oddsworn Eye, which you can refine it until refinement 5 using Ointment of Sight. Next, there will be a new boss that we can fight and it look absolutely intimidating. It looks like Raiden Shogun, but with massive hand and massive katana. And then, there will also be a new mob called Shadowy Husk. There are three types of Shadowy Husk, which is Standard Bearer, Lying Breaker, and Defenders. They will have the ability to trigger some unique effect when hit a shield. For example, the Standard Bearer. If he managed to hit a shielded character, it will create a shield for itself and other Shadowy Husk creature. Well, talking about another hard counter for shield reliance character, no? The first one is corrosion, and now this? Yikes. Leaving those smoke behind, now let's talk about some brand new interesting event. First, there will be 3 realm gateway offering event, where the objective of the event is to explore an even area on Enkanomiya that has some corrosion effect within the area. We will be given a new gadget called the Bokuso Box to aid us on the exploration. By opening chest, unlocking waypoint, and clearing exploration objective, we can get Light Rom Sigils, which we can offer to a statue on the map to unlock further Bokuso Box skill. Then, there is Divine Ingenuity event. In this event, you can make your very own domain. This is basically a Super Mario Maker Genshin Edition. You can also share your domain with other players, so they can try your creation. But, for you to be able to share it, you will need to actually beat your own domain first, making sure that your domain is actually beatable. Then, there is Of Dream a Dreaming event where in this event you will become a bartender and make a drink for customer. All you need to do in this event is just follow the instruction of how to make a drink. From this event, you will obtain drink recipes and a brand new name card. And there will also be a rerun of Hyakunen Iki event, where we made a 6 team consist of 2 characters that will tag in against waves of enemy. And of course, with the new patch, there will be a new story that continue from where it left. The Imperatrix Ambrosa Chapter, Act 2, and Divina Fulpes, Act 1. Lastly, there are a little sneak peek for the 2.6 patch, which is the Chasm. Are you ready for the 2.5 updates? Tell me in the comment section down below.